William Hill is rated A by SBR. Find out why by clicking on their logo. Natalie Rydstrom and welcome to Euro Football Weekly, a show where we take a look at the betting lines for the upcoming European football fixtures. Joining us now to help us find the best available value for the match is Stuart from betadvisor.com. Stuart, welcome to the show. Hi Natalie. Now playing on Saturday is Arsenal versus Sunderland. With Arsenal's Champions League uh, practically over, their focus now will be winning the league. After uh, losing their number one spot to Chelsea, a win here is crucial. They have the home advantage and they're playing against a team who could possibly face relegation. So this should be an easy Arsenal win. The three-way line at Bet365 has Arsenal as favourites priced at 1.3, Sunderland priced at 10 and the draw at 5, all with Bet365 rated A by sportsbookreview.com. So too low to bet on an Arsenal win here. What bets do you like for this match? Uh, well, the bookies are pretty tight on this one. They've obviously got Arsenal down for a clear winner. Uh, and it's not really a surprise. I mean, the only thing that is going to be interesting is how they cope with injuries. They've had quite a few this season. And then they had Gibbs go out injured in the Champions League match as well. So that just leaves them with Nacho Monreal at left back. And he's not exactly been brilliant this season. So there's a little bit of a weakness there for them. And it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Now you mentioned here that the, that Arsenal have these injuries. Do you think do you think that's sort of a case for the under two point five here? Uh, it's going to be interesting, especially because uh, Olivier Giroud doesn't seem to be playing uh, any kind of matches recently. Certainly since the uh, speculation about his private life, you've seen Yaya Sanogo have a have a couple of games up front, even in the Champions League midweek, where you would have thought that Giroud would have more of a chance. Uh, without him, they definitely don't seem to be as much of a goal-scoring threat. And uh, as we saw, they're not too reliable from the penalty spot either. So under 2.5 has a reasonable chance. OK, there's a couple of bets that I do like for this match. Uh, we've got uh, Arsenal Asian handicap minus 2, 2.6. Arsenal to win to nil, that's priced at 2. And Arsenal half-time, full-time at 1.83. Do any of those look good to you or with, say, fatigue from the Champions League match and the injuries, would you rule those out? Uh, personally, I'd be ruling those out. Certainly, the Arsenal minus two, I think that's a little bit too ambitious. I think it's going to take a very, very good team performance to beat Sunderland here. They've been a team that's been improving steadily as the season's gone on. And Gus Poyot has gotten playing pretty good football and they're getting better all the time. So I don't think Arsenal minus two is much of a good one. OK, how about Arsenal to win to nil? Can they keep a clean sheet? That's priced at evens. Uh, that actually goes against my official bet, so I'm not going to be backing that one either. All right, what is your official bet, Stuart? Uh, my official bet is both teams to score. Sunderland have got some good attacking players, most certainly Adam Johnson. And uh, both teams to score is available with Bet Victor at 2.3. So I'm going for that. It's quite a bit higher than other bookies. So you need to check that one out, I think. Yep, OK, both teams to score. I like that bet, uh, especially with uh, what we were discussing with Arsenal's, uh, Arsenal's possible fatigue and with their injuries, uh, they should see them uh, conceding a goal or two. Stuart is from betadvisor.com. Make sure to keep an eye on the Bet Advisor Facebook and Twitter pages for regular free tips from their professional tipsters. I have pasted the links in the descriptions below uh, for their website and Facebook profile. Uh, Stuart, thanks for joining us. No problem.